Welcome back to this week's episode of the Extra Chromosome Podcast. I'm joined here by the two Chromies as usual, Sam the Man and Cheese the Queso, who showed up again two days in a row. Wow, that's that's a new record. Hey! Right there. Two days yeah. about this incident. Yeah. Yeah, boys, how's your week's been? Uh, my week's been actually okay. I've been costume shopping for this costume party. And All right. It, it, it's well, what are you? Are you so are you gonna be are you still gonna be your oh, little God. tiny Rambo? Jeez, no, I'm no longer gonna be Rambo. We decided to do a group thing. So, uh, my one friend, he's going to be Donald Trump, and the rest of us are gonna be CIA agents. And we're gonna protect them. Hey, but yeah. what are you gonna protect them from? Like a crotch area, like assault? Like you're really short. They protect his probably... knee from any short yeah. arrows. Yeah, they probably well, shoot they... over your head. And still well, kill they... The thing is, like, all my friends are, like, regular-sized humans, so I'll just be down there, like, you know, protecting his shins just in case, like, someone oh, tries you, to attack You should have been Donald Trump, so they look a lot bigger and, like, protecting you. That would have been funny. Yeah. Oh, well, it's too late now. <laughs> wait, wait, so is your, okay, so is your friend wearing, like, the shitty Donald Trump mask, or is he white and he's, he's like... He's white, he has curly hair, but he's gonna wear a bald cap, and we bought him uh, a white, blonde wig. Cap? He's not bald. Well, he, he's, he's gonna wear a wig. Okay, well, so well, he's gonna. He, he barely has any hair. He just needed to comb. His no, hair. he has. He has curly hair, and it's like. Yeah, he can just straighten his hair. No. So why don't you like have your friend go to women and like grab their pussies, and then when they when the Aww. women get act wise, you guys just like shove her like move along, man. Move along, move along. Move along. <laughs> Good to go. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna bring this along. Oh, man. I could be his lawyer. Oh my goodness. Well, I can't be a lawyer. We we're all CIA agents. Uh, oh, we have the, we have the classes oh, and everything. Uh, so my client right here, he didn't really mean to grab your pussy. Your pussy was just in the way of his hand. Oh, ma'am. Like, you could just be that guy. Eh. Eh, maybe. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we're going to be CIA agents. We're going to push people away when they get too close. We're going to beat the shit out of people if they talk shit. Well, not you. You're probably going to get picked well, up. Well, I'm going to like kick their shit. I'll like break their shins. That's the thing. I'm punch well, really maybe hard. if you punch high enough and you jump. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I've been just shopping. I'm I, I actually I'm ugh, um I'm actually going to quit my job very soon. Oh wow. Yeah. You have a job? No, no. I'm just oh. gonna quit. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Not the smart not the smart at your job. So the the blacks they're actually uh, revolting against me now. Well, yeah, right. All the racist shit. You said they're like, you know what? Fuck this little fucker. Well, no, I, I'm still, I'm still cool with the the gang or whatever. But it's just, I'm tired of the job. And <laughs> that's what you call the black people. Okay. Yeah, it's me, and my, me, and my boys, the gang. Player. Anyways, um, I just decided I was like, ah, oh, this job sucks, and I'm tired of it. And I work two to eleven. <laughs> Fuck that. Remember, okay, remember, well, why don't you look for a job? That's what that's yeah. what I'm doing right now. Just keep. He says you may sound like you're just gonna quit and be like, "Oh, I guess I'm gonna have no job until I get it." Well, I mean, that's what. No, that's, that's, that's what, what I'm saying. Yeah, I am. I am applying to jobs. I'm just gonna quit because I don't want to. Okay, you should be like, you know, I'm searching for a new job. Not like I'm just gonna quit my job. <laughs> well, it just sounded funnier that way. But now you just went and why'd you explain yourself? If you wanted it to be funny, you should have said no and stuck with the. Uh, oh no, I'm not gonna do that, Mike. So, what's an ideal job for the cheese? Like, what, what, what's your ideal job? It's either I go, I go do. Uh, ah. It's either I go to the plants, or I, I don't know. I find something on the inside, like an inside. The in- what job. is the inside? What does that mean? I'm not plant. working outside. Not like a construction job or anything like that. So you want a warehouse like, job? Warehouse job. I'll do warehouse. I'll do like phone stores. So You're hired, cheese. <laughs> you just want a blue collar job. That's it. Yeah, essentially. And just, uh, n- not anything like Walmart. Just fuck that. You want to work in like a little sweatshop with a bunch of little Chinese kids? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Latest Kanye yeah. Yeezys. Is that what you want to do? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, then I'd steal Kanye. them and resell them. Or collect them. But, the children yeah. or the... Or... <laughs> yeah, the children, because I can make them my, I can make my own sweatshop for like He's the cheesy merch. <laughs> but yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, they can make the extra chromosome, uh, extra chromosome podcast. No, bitch, right? they're mine. No, what the fuck? No, no they're, yeah. they're mine. You already have the design for Dumbo shirts. Yeah, but like they're gonna uh, sell my merch instead. Um, uh, no, that's fine. God, just fucking communist. How's the communist? Oh, it, oh, oh, whoa, your sweatshop? No, you mean our sweatshop? Oh, okay. I mean we're together in a podcast. Yeah, but sure. I wanted to use them for my own benefit. 
Well, so, okay, well, I'm trying to free them from molestation. Apparently, uh, the way they're not going to get molested. Them. I, I, I. You just said the way I would. I saw you. Grab, yeah, my own. You your hand down your fucking pants and fucking stroked your cock, dude. I don't know how to feel about that. Well, well it's it itched. Itched. Which is the own benefit. Mexican kid workers, you wouldn't like bat an eye. You'd be like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, like, if I just it. put them in femboy dresses, they look like women. I know. No, no. no. You know what it could be? You'd be like, let's see. It's like, you know, I could save you, you know. You have a real good future in this <laughs> company, kid. But they don't understand <laughs> English, so now I can't really talk to them. <laughs> Love's a universal like language, you know. That's oh, yeah. like my cock is a universal <laughs> language. I still understand. Yeah, I'll be like, oh, go ahead. Language. It's femboy dress and stocking is a universal language. <laughs> <laughs> they understand. But yeah, and that's been my week. How about you, Sam? Nah, uh, let's, let's hear about Mike's week first. Okay, well, Mike, well, how's your week? I didn't do nothing, dude. <laughs> yeah, you didn't like show up on time for this recording either. Yeah, I know, cause you know, I, I just fell asleep and waiting for cheese. Waiting for cheese. I, 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 waiting I, waiting for I got stood up. Sorry about that. You know the cheese man. They, everyone wants a slice of the cheese, but we just want the slice cheese. of the cheese on the day he would be available. You know, crazy. We would. Yeah. Be, but don't worry, your chromosome fans. I heard your call because. Apparently, they were going to replace me with that one guy who couldn't talk uh, two episodes yeah, ago. Yeah, Mike's so. best friend, Croc. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's funny. You you always, uh, whenever you refer to him, you say, you know, friend of the show, Croc. Now it's just yeah. that now, guy. Now hey, it's it's so one guy you know, Croc's yeah. still friend of the show. You know, luckily, yeah, for, luckily for Mike, he doesn't listen to the show because he can see how shit it is. But, I mean, we got you guys, so we don't need Croc listening to the show. I hate Mike. Yeah, but I, I, you're welcome, guys. Uh, you're welcome, Mike. I heard the cries and I woke up just in time. When I wasn't really crying. It was more of Sam crying, if anything. What would you guys have done a Sam and Cheese episode? I was telling them oh, to do that. Do it Croc, because we need a straight man for the, the Cheese Man episode. Because if I tell Cheese yeah. like anything, like okay, but he's gonna be like like straight as fuck. Exactly, yes, exactly. yeah. But if I say anything above like a four letter word, the Cheese, he's like, oh, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah, and, and you, no, yeah, okay. What well, the podcast would be is you guys just, just time to like, jokes, kinda jokes and just giggling to each other, like, hee, hee, yeah, that's fine. I just need yeah. to talk to Croc and he can laugh all the time he wants. And then Croc would be like, oh, yeah, I just need someone to talk to. No, just Croc would have been like, talking. he'd be like, I don't get that. Okay, and then just say, fine, quiet. you're there to get that. He's not. <laughs> then there's no point of having him on. We could have been fucking recording. It just needs a street man, you know. Anyway. I, I, I brought him on thinking, you know. Because I tried to lead him to tell some stories, and he fucking just let me down entirely. Because, what was it? He didn't, like, add much. And so then I brought up the weird guy at um at the CD place. He talked to Croc, and he and Croc was telling me, like, all the weird shit he was saying. Oh, yeah. And the worst part was I said, oh, for it. I was like, oh, Croc, you know, remember that one weird guy? He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I, I didn't get to talk to him, really. But Croc, what kind of stuff do you say? And oh, he you know, like, he's, like, kind of weird. <laughs> That's how he ended it. And I'm like, <laughs> he's like, oh yeah, he said some kind of, some kind of yeah, weird, weird things. things, and you're like, yeah, like what? Uh, you know, this kind like of, some stuff you know. I can't that, really remember. You know that you know he was like <laughs> hiding in his closet, kind of stuff, and I'm like, yeah, I guess. And then, I just, like, then I just moved on to the next topic because I was you're just you're yelling at your screen like, elaborate. <laughs> oh my! Uh, during my recording, I heard me fidgeting on the table when he was doing that, and I was, but yeah. Yeah, we just needed, uh, I just needed him there to talk to someone I knew would be like listening at least. So, yeah, uh, it was funny. Uh, I remember I was editing the episode, and then that's how my girlfriend I took my headphones off every like 10, 20 minutes. I'm like, this fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I gave him a, I gave him an opening, and he didn't do shit. And should, the worst part is, uh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna go on a tie right now. Is the Jerry Berry episode, you know, I talk about Croc, and I was like, oh, you know, I'm kind of like saying up this guy, I'm like, oh, you know, he's my friend, we've been through a lot together, and all that. And then, you know, the listeners are like, oh, next episode, hell, here's that guy that Mike was talking about. What does he have to say? Fucking nothing. Like, you fucking asshole. <laughs> just crack the director's cut. Like, next time we have him on, like, when you're editing, just, like, record it. Uh, so here, Croc said, uh, you didn't say anything. Uh, Why didn't really you give him a script? That's... A yeah, step-by-step like, step commentary. Uh, yeah, Lion King 2 and a half version of your recording. <laughs> All right, here's another part where Croc said absolutely nothing. You know, just give him notes. <laughs> Yeah, but <laughs> that was, that's, that's I guess that's my now. week when I was editing that episode, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's out now. Not on YouTube, thanks to Cheese, but it's out now on Spotify. Yeah. 
I'm hold, I'm holding the YouTube hostage. It's called a non dairy episode. A really good name, might I add. Oh, fucking that. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. So my week, I th- I, I've been busy with just like uh, doing stuff on my own time. Uh, I've been watching a lot of shows, and um, something something uh, popped up in my. Uh, I don't. I think it was my YouTube. Rec- yeah, my YouTube recommended. And I don't know if you, uh, maybe Mike might remember, but do you do you remember the Flash game? It was uh, Family Guy versus American Dad. Oh, yeah, it was a Flash game for that. Yeah, yeah it was like a, it was like a Street Fighter clone. They had Ryu as one of the characters. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. hold on, I'll send a playlist real quick. But basically, it was like a, it was a Flash game version of like a, a typical fighter game, and like you pick like any of the Family Guy and any of the Street Fighter guys, and then they fight. And that shit brought me back to like uh, all these like shitty flash games I used to play. Hmm. And like uh I Mike, I know you have a horrible memory, but like do you think there is there's any like of those very obscure games like you remember playing? Well, a bunch of flash games? Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's a bunch of a bunch of them I recall. Because I went I went down a rabbit hole to fucking find because I, I I didn't remember the game like at all. Until I saw it, and I was like, "Dude, I remember this fucking because this used to be like one of those ad games on the side." You're like, "Oh, dude, Family Guy vs. American Dad." Whoa! <laughs> In fact, uh, we talked about this so off the podcast. Uh, remember, I went down a rabbit hole of Adult Swim Flash games. I was like, "Oh yeah, shit." Yeah, have Croc, and you didn't say anything about it. No, well, he talked during that. <laughs> Just when you put a mic in front of him. Oh, you know, he reminds me of you. You know, the frog that goes, "Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling." You know, you start saying that, but you know, a bunch of racial slurs. But as soon as you put a mic in front of him, he's just quiet. Uh, well, we'll try to we'll try to record anything with Croc, but like back to the Flash games. Yeah. All right, back to the Flash games, and you just go quiet. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, do you do you have any? Well, I I don't. It's not or cheese, typically. It's not typically. Flash games that that was way too old. I was on computer, but I did have uh, my cousin's uh, PSP, and he had a hacked version of it. I like so he had a jailbreak or whatever you call it. So like uh, he, yeah, he had like a jailbreak uh, or jailbroken uh, PSP, and it had so many fucking games on it, and you could access them. But uh, I was playing on it, and I didn't know any better. So uh, it was weird. I I think it was like saves. Like, I would save, or I would accidentally delete the games or save over them. So every time, like, uh, I just uh, die or whatever, or I, uh, whenever I wanted to get off and stop playing the PSP, I'd save over another game, or I'd accidentally delete it thinking I was saving it. And then, like, he had, like, 500, like, games or whatever, and then Actually, whenever I was done with it, yeah, whenever <laughs> I was done with it, it was 10 of the same games. Because <laughs> I just kept playing this one game, I kept saving over and over and uh it, was it, it just, a hentai or, flash game was that one yeah it was a hentai flash game it was pretty cool it, but no but that's the only thing i have to like what well, a gaming or like flash because all the games on psp were well, pretty bad the, the flash game that does come to mind also was five minutes to kill yourself basically you'd want to go to a, a corporate meeting and then you have five minutes before the meeting so you have to go around the office and kill yourself with various objects inside of an office space really good game i, I love that game we were talking about this earlier, but the only the only game I remember ever playing is like uh, is this Flash game. I only went on Armor Games. I didn't know what Newgrounds was until like way later. But I only went on Armor Games, and it was just like uh, these little soldiers that would fight each other, like kind of XCOM style. And I'd play that, and I would play like the tower defense of that. And that's about all I'd play besides like Sonic versus Mario and like the Sonic like RPG games for some reason that are always on there. What was it Super Smash uh, Flash or whatever it was? Back in. All right, so we're going to go into articles. Yeah, I was going to say, we're going into topics. Yeah, I was falling asleep listening to this video game. Talk. Jesus. Yeah, I can't wait for you to edit this. <laughs> Cut most of that out, please. Anyways, you want to take us into a topic? Hey, yeah, you want to say a uh, topic? Your loser user topics? Come on. Yeah, sure. I'll take us into the topic. Click on Don't Trust Those Damn. No! No, that's a sound effect. That's cool. <laughs> 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 All right. China-owned TikTok denies it could use location information to track the U.S. So, uh, essentially, on uh, Twitter, Forbes tweeted, TikTok China, uh, TikTok is basically trying to track your location, like, physically, and, like, exact pinpoint. But TikTok... Oh, can do that, mostly. Yeah, but this one's TikTok, and the Chinese owns it, so it's, like, even more better, for some reason. More better. Yeah, because, like, the communists... 
those are bad people. You don't want the communists to track your every location, do you? Well, like, exactly what, like, can they do? Like, I know Samwise has this conspiracy, like, you know, if I download a, ja- a Chinese video game, that's going to, like, turn my thing into, like, a, po- a botnet or something. No, all I said was I don't I don't download Riot Games because they have anti uh, they have anti cheat that can break your computer and that's been proven by multiple people. That's the only reason. I just don't think something don't should have. No, I just don't think anything should have that much power over my system. And it's not that the, the that will stop me cheating. It's not going to break my system because I cheat. It just has a power to. It has that much power over your computer. That's not necessary. They they could just ban me. But it has the power. To, why does it have the power to break my computer? All it needs to do is ban that's me. That's dirty teaching cheater, that's, dude. Yeah. Like, why does it have that's that power? That's a cheat. That's that's like that's like uh, giving police officers like fucking uh, tactical nukes. Like, oh hey yeah, uh, it's just so maybe you shouldn't break the law. Like, well, I mean, nukes, so. that's a bad example because you I mean it LAPD, is an accurate was, example. No, no, because LAPD already has that power already. Like to have all this military tech. But they have tactical nukes. <laughs> Yeah, well, soon enough, yeah. No, soon. no I, I don't think they beat Rodney King with fucking tactical nukes. I, I'm not too sure. <laughs> well, they have tactical tanks, dude. I mean, soon enough, it's going to be nukes. Might as well. Go, to go be out, fair, like. he did have a crowbar, so I think he might have deserved it. <laughs> but me, on the other hand, I don't have anything to defend myself from this breaking my fucking computer. So, yeah, those are my Chinese conspiracies. Yeah, God forbid I don't want someone to have that much control on my computer. Well, aren't you an Asian woman? Do you like Chinese women or do you like the Japanese women? It's like Japanese. Very specific. I, have, I, have, I think I've said this before. I do not like Chinese loyalists. You know, China, horrible place. Okay, but like, what's okay, she hot, though? Yeah, what is she like? She's hot, if she's hot and she still prays to the fucking commander, I don't give a shit. Yeah, like, she'll gonna, suck your gonna, cock, but she'll call you Xi She's going to slit my wrist it. in the morning. It's not worth my life. Yes, it is. What if it's fucking like some good <laughs> top, though? Yeah, and this is like godly. Like, god top. Like God, yeah, well, that's, that's what I live for. The new guys. Okay, but well, like, well, okay, if you could sample it, like, if you could, like, like, let me see if it's worth it. Yeah, I just died. Okay. Okay, though. Okay, but like, she, she so puts her lips around. Live for? What okay, do you, do you want to, okay. do you want me to fast track this conversation? It's going to be no every single time. So keep making hypotheticals. <laughs> it's going to be no. But okay, oh, okay. So what, what do you got to live for? Like, well, okay, what's going on? Yeah. Are you gonna be? What do I got to live for? I got to live for for a longer and better relationship that is one I'm gonna fucking die for in a day. <laughs> I don't know, I'd have one good one and just be like, alright, that's it. That's that's peak. Yeah, does Especially you with like no experience, I'd be like, I just want to top. believe. Like this is like, Okay, if I have no experience, life. that means most top is gonna be the best top I've ever had. So I could just <laughs> well, give yeah, a yeah, woman, not like, a fucking Chinese loyalist. Life. But okay, but Sam, when she puts her lips around the tip of your cock, you no. immediately come. No. That's how good it is. It's not good no. though. <laughs> how do I enjoy that? Because <laughs> you come. Oh, oh my goodness all right well i don't want you cool. but like premature ejaculation makes me sad yeah exactly are you fucking retarded cheese hey, as long as you get to come that's all that matters oh my god you're retarded let mike keep doing these hypothetical oh, go ahead hit me with these hypotheticals okay so are you against like religious like people too no i'm not against religious like people. say like your girlfriend like you don't agree as with her she, she holds up like she holds up a crucifix it. As long as she doesn't force it on the like a uh, no, she just puts hyper- like a, she puts up a like a crucifix on the wall. Would that bother you? No, as long okay, as she doesn't well, she force it like on a giant the- poster of Xi Jinping on the wall. Would that bother you? Yeah. <laughs> Why? It's the same thing. Why? As a crucifix. Because that's a person. That's not a that's not a religious idol. Dude, Jesus is a person. Dude, those are warning fucking signs. Not that Jesus like worshiping a person? No, Jesus is dead. This man's still yeah, alive. Yeah, worshiping a person. Yeah. No, that man is dead. He can't tell her like, all right, now guys, we're gonna. Yeah, but Jesus was alive everybody. at some point. So yeah, at some point, I don't give a shit. You know, she can put him up when he's dead. How about that? Oh, then what? Well, she has like Mao or something. Oh, like, she puts up Mao or she puts up Mao, and I tell, I would, I would, I'd be like, hey, uh, so do you like believe in communist ideas? Yeah. Ideals? Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye. See ya. Sam, what would you prefer? Like, yeah, okay, then we would do like, oh, who's that Jesus? Would you believe in Christianity? Go yeah, on. I don't care no, about Christianity no, 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 because for the most part, it's not harmful. Sam, what would you prefer? You would. Dude, I think the Crusades Korean? would say otherwise. What do you mean? It's not yeah, harmful. okay, but those were in the past, motherfucker. They're oh, not those are in the now. past. Wow, okay. Okay. Those, they're not crusading now. Well, we're gonna we're gonna keep up history on everybody. Just like in that like case, we shouldn't be we shouldn't be trusting the Democrats. Okay, Sam, because <laughs> yeah, he had if, slavery. What if it was a North Korean uh, woman? She had a, a a poster of Kim Jong Un. What would you prefer, the Chinese lady or the Korean lady? Right here, if you saw a poster of Kim Jong Un, go back to North Korea. Why'd you escape, dumbass? That's what I would tell her. No, she been exiled. 
for being she was exiled, yeah, for, for, she being was exiled for liking milky white cock. That's why she's with you. Uh, oh my goodness! <laughs> I, I really rob North Korea, but I really like milky white <laughs> cock. Like you, white cock. <laughs> Is this you gonna tell me? Yeah, that's why she was exiled. And like you know, she found you. You gotta get priority straight, bitch. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Country. <laughs> uh, what? Fuck this white pussy. Oh, fuck this yellow pussy. White yeah, okay, wait. Yeah. Would it bother you if, say, you dated a Mexican girl and she wants to hang up a fucking Mexican flag? Uh, do I already have a Mexican flag hung up? Oh, God, okay, so that bother gay. you? No, because I also have a Nazi flag right next to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, wait, really? Yeah, I made it. I made it. I made it in like my fifth. Uh, not my fifth grade. Like my freshman year of high school for uh, history. Just let, let it put the the Xi Jinping poster underneath your Nazi flag. Oh, it's man. it's ironic. It's not like I played uh, it every yeah, day. Okay. okay, ironic. Yeah. Yeah. I also have the communist flag up there too, but I'm not praying to that either. Can you see? A, can you like just like take a picture of your little Nazi flag? I have a picture. Yeah. I'll, I'll see when he comes later. in. Says, we'll make that the thumbnail of the show. Uh, <laughs> No, oh, I, like, I don't think we could do that. I, I, I made it. I made it, and I was like, "It's pretty funny." I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang it up there. Like, what's your dad think you... of that? I told him it's pretty funny, and he's like, oh, "I guess." <laughs> yeah, he, he doesn't. He doesn't believe he that shit. What the? All... No, he still thinks I'm all right, then. So. <laughs> you no know, shit, you're a Nazi. Yeah, you have a Nazi damn ring. Ring. Yeah, but I, I'm not a Nazi. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're yeah, I like killed a, a few Jews. You're just like a you, bougie You literally Nazi. gave me a scenario where a woman only likes me because I'm white, and you guys think I'm the Nazi. Yeah, like, she sees yeah. that flag at, like, your little swastika, and she's like, oh. Well, you didn't know that until now, so that clearly wasn't what was going through your head. <laughs> okay, but so, like, she could put it right next to your little fucking po- your little. Flag. I'd have any flag up. I would even have the fucking Israeli flag up, just because it's funny. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. dude, I could put them next to each well, other. That'd well, be then hilarious. Just think, then think Xi Jinping is funny. <laughs> Well, she she's not putting it up ironically, though. I don't care. Okay, what if she was like, hmm? What if she's like, I believe half of it, not fully. Like she's kind of in, kind of out. No. What well, she says, I just have pride in my country. Yeah. That, she's like, fine. I'm from China. China number one. Then put it up. It's like a little. But, no, no. She puts on. Okay, like, look. Little... As long as as long as she's not fucking hostile about it, I don't give a shit. Like the same thing with the no, she's not a man. No, exactly. See, hey, she won't kill you. Shit. But it's like she. Okay, no. okay. Either. Okay, she's uh, fully supporting it, but she just won't kill you. Is that is that good enough for you? Sense. Well, like she fully supports China. She's like, you know, China's awesome. Everything, you know, they're all, like, go yeah, China. But I, I hate but China. I won't kill you. Like she won't kill you though. But I hate China though. Why would she be? With <laughs> you just said if it was non-hostile, then it's okay. Yeah, but I hate China. <sighs> yeah. I thought that's a reason. That's a reason for this hypothetical idiot. Did you forget? Yeah, you hate China, but you said if she's on hostile. Yeah, no, like if she just had like a little poster, just put it on the wall, fine, whatever. Yeah, okay, that's a little poster. You said a great big poster that she fucking like prays to <laughs> and like jacks off in front it's of. All, it's all her. It's it's all her wallpaper. I don't like this revisionist history you have. Okay, so even if she was like Muslim and she like occasionally like I don't know, she's like like every like thirty minutes, uh, like out of a day, not every thirty minutes at what <laughs> what's every thirty <laughs> what thirty minutes a day. She's just doing up downs at that point. Yes. But she what do you guess that? I think I would know going in that she's Muslim and she's gonna do that shit. So if I was already with well, her, then, well, then we walk in, you see a girl with slanted eyes. You're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, she's gonna. Do yeah, that. I'd be like, hey, how's it going? She's like, oh, that's fine. And I, she invites me to her house hypothetically, and then I see like all these Asian pink posters. I'm out of there. You'd be the same way with like all these Christianity crucifixes. No, and God's, I like real butt. Oh really? Real she's blood a whole guy. I'd be like, that's hot. Shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, well, she's a nice person because me, I'm in there for the sex. You're in there for like a good communication. You're in there for, yeah, I am. I'm in but, there for a long time, not a short time. Yeah, well, she's like really time. nice and it's just like fucking, you know, she's like, oh yeah, by the way, Xi Jinping is awesome. I'd be like, what the fuck is She drops in a random conversation. She's like, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. And it followed 76 cool and would, all, but would, you know, Xi is kind of cool too. Why would, she, why would she like follow 76? It's all about hating Chinese. He goes, oh, think about it. Like, you know, it wouldn't happen without him, man. Yeah. Without well, who? Like, Who's him? Jin Jinping, or whatever his name is. Jin Jinping isn't even in the Fallout universe. Yeah, he is. Jin Jinping, then. No, he's not. Well, his counterpart, or whatever. Well, she's like, oh, yeah. See, this is this would happen if he didn't write the Fallout. He only praises China because of Fallout? No, not just because. See, there you go. You guys get along with that. Oh, my goodness. No. Bison, bison. Bison, bison. <laughs> that means that means fucking what the fuck was it? Like uh, James Conner killed himself. Dude. What the fuck was it? I think I can't remember. 
<laughs> the Gary Coleman fell down the steps. Yo, Gary Coleman, there you go. He <laughs> fell off the steps on a YouTube video. That was fucking freaky shit, dude. Do I fucking hate you? Oh my god, was that scared to either, or was that creepy McPasta? One of those losers. You're subscribed to one of them. You should feel ashamed. Oh my god, that was, that like was the, hilarious. You're trying to okay for, no, for, well for fucking context. Mike was showing me Fallout creepy pastas because he wanted to make a make fun of Fallout for like a twenty <laughs> time in front of me. And we just like watching this dog shit bullshit that's like unscary. It's so lame. It was saying that because uh, randomly during the game, there's like a number station, like numbers, and according to them, it said Gary Coleman <laughs> like the dies and and then some guy's like YouTube channel like blows up or so something. Dumb. It sounds retarded. What the fuck? <laughs> Pasta used to be like terrifying as a kid. That was pretty terrifying. Gary Coleman died. Dude, I remember- <laughs> I, I used to shit my pants as a kid to thinking about like uh, buried alive from Pokemon and shit. Dude, oh my goodness! And, oh yeah, you know I thought that was oh, pretty ah, cool. I can't fight this trainer; he's gonna kill me, IRL, dude. I'm... Or is this like a? I remember I read like a Minecraft creepy pasta, and it was like this guy who turned in the blocks and like stabbed you when you were like turning around. And my like, creepy pastas are crazy. I like the Mario creepy pasta. That scared me. Oh, that he pisses off a waterfall? What? Yeah. I have to take a piss. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love... What the fuck's his name? Like, uh, Alex movie fan or whatever? Yeah. Blaze the movie fan, there you go. I fucking love him. Oh my god. I will, I'll show you guys videos, but he's hilarious. <laughs> right, well, that's uh, in China. Yeah, that's in China. Fuck your topic, <laughs> don't, tr- don't trust those... <laughs> one i always said yeah just watch yeah, more play that out Mike, please. <laughs> or who or don't i i'm not gonna have a job soon anyways it doesn't matter see i told you she has horrible articles anyways uh, do you want to go next mike or do you want me to go? um i guess i'll go next then boys we have arrived boys we have arrived at the ultimate fat brain like you know people's fat excuses people be like hey i'm just bloated that's why i'm so fat oh hey you know it's just my genes it's my genetics we have arrived, boys. Officially, air pollution is making women fat. Study. <laughs> a new study suggests that a long time air pollution exposure is linked to women gaining weight, particularly ladies in their 40s and 50s. Yeah, very, uh, very specific. <laughs> Observed women who were exposed to poor air quality, specifically hard levels of fine particles such as nitrogen dioxide and ozone, had seen increases in their body size. According to the study of author Zing Wang, uh-oh, Chinese. Oh, see, Chinese people. <laughs> and uh, epidemiology research investigator at the University of Michigan, the exposure to air pollution was tied to higher blo- body fat, fat proportions, and lower lean mass in middle-aged women. Eurekiller noted that body fat increased by 4.5%. So it's not even that fucking huge, so... No. Like, that's, like, the very minimum. Like, dude, I can't see 4.5% on you. I could see, like, 30% of your big, fat gut, bitch. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, so I, I think I know I know what happened here. And uh, the increase is only by 2.6 pounds, and now they're, like, saying, like, oh, no, it could actually be a lot worse now. So what are you saying, Sam? I think I, I know what happened here. I think, uh, I think uh, you know, I, I, I didn't, I, have, I clearly haven't read anything about this article, because none of us read the article. Why do you sound like that? People. Are you sad about yeah, this? Yeah, like, <laughs> 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 like, are you <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, wait, am I better now? Did I have something in my throat? Yeah, yeah you, you sounded you're like, like all sad, oh, like you were crying and shit. Uh, I guess that's something in my throat, but um, <laughs> so I, I know what's going on here. Uh, I mean, we don't read these beforehand. I don't know anything, but I think what happened was uh, what was this guy's name? Like Xi Jin fucking Ping or something? Yeah. Zin Wang. Zin Wang. Wang. I think he. I think he did an article about uh, industrial cities because uh, when you think about cities with so much pollution, you think uh, Chinese cities that you know are constantly polluting. You think of L.A., you think of New York, you know all these very industrial cities. And what's one thing they have in common? Everything is really close net and next to each other. So you have uh, you have all these things you want to do like right outside your 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 door. You know McDonald's, all this. And the chemical plant and the chemical plant. I think, it, plant yeah. I, I think yeah, what really was, happened was he, he was saying that all these industrial cities have all these fat asses because they can just <laughs> like get up, Uber, eat, 10 minutes it's there. But the fat asses saw this article and they were like, wait, hold on. Oh, uh, what does LA, New York, and all these cities have it together? Oh, smog. So then now they're blaming it on the air, which honestly, 
I blame the air too because you guys take way too much of it all the time. Whenever I'm walking around, you guys are going <laughs> just fucking like walk two steps. You know what I was thinking about is every time like these fat people eat, they inhale like Kirby, so that's why it gets like stuck in them. You know, uh, you know, I I, I think it kind of makes sense. You know, like sometimes uh, I'll get a notification saying like oh bad air pollution. I'm like damn, all right, I'm, I guess I'm getting five pounds today. Well, I mean, that uh, explains I how. Well, I mean, cheese. You're a fa- you're a fat person. Uh, former um, former fat person. Let, let's how much that. how much do you weigh? Uh, I'm one sixty six right now. Hey, how tall are you? Five four, five five. Like five five one. Yeah, something like that. All right, so you're five four and like a hundred and five six. You bitch. God damn. Five six. You're mm-hmm. like five four, a hundred mm-hmm. and like forty pounds, fifty pounds. Is that healthy for your weight? No, it's not. It's not okay. So. Jeez, oh, a former fat person, slightly, or slightly getting. As a slightly obese person, slightly obese. That's eh, that's better. How, what would you What do you think about this? I believe it. I just said I, I believe it. You know, sometimes you know, you in, you inhale a little bit of that smog. You just like you know, it goes straight to your gut. It's, well, you live in like Texas, the desert. There's yeah, yeah, no yeah, smog you, out there. You live in you, specifically. You live. Well, I, in I near just Houston, said. You know. I, I said sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes I, I get a notification like, ooh, the air quality went down just a bit. And I'm just like, ah, oh, damn, it's going to go straight to my gut. It's horrible. Damn, I, go outside yeah. today. I guess I got to order some Uber Eats to my house, you know? Yeah, the well, yeah, and then like <laughs> cheat them out of like $20. Yeah, cheat them out of free food? Free food? And I get to miss out on bad air? All right. It's like a care package. Yeah. Because I, I don't want my lungs to get fat, you know? So I just got I got to stay inside. No, I agree with them this time. Well, yeah, that's okay. pretty much it. <laughs> I thought, like, I just don't, like, it's just another fucking excuse. Uh, one of many, I've heard, it's water weight. Oh, it, I'm just bloated, you know. I mean, you know, water weight kind of exists. Yeah, yeah water- but, like, bitch, the problem that's is a- you're literally, like, fucking Aquaman, dude. Like, no. The problem is you're not drinking any water. So. I remember when we did <laughs> wrestling, you know, you just, like, roll up the big guy who's, like, a. Uh, who's over like 30 pounds you know let him sweat for like two hours and then he makes weight you know try doing that try sweating you know you might sweat out all your pounds all right sam do you want to take us into the article okay so i got this um you know we we talked about kanye for like the last month uh it's been like three weeks and mm-hmm. uh, we got yet another update you know so you want to go to that one of my topics mm-hmm. all right so apparently um Yeezy has been dropped by Adidas. I didn't know Adidas made uh, Yeezy, by the way. Yeah. Uh, I thought they were their own thing. I'm very surprised that Adidas have dropped them. They're uh, a German company who still uses slave labor. <laughs> well, I mean, what, what company that fa- fabrics any clothing doesn't use slave labor? I mean, even Apple. But uh, it's, it's uh, so uh, according to this article, you know, uh, he, he kind of was worth like $1.3 billion. And now he's estimated at $400 million. And uh, I, I read another article that not no one wants to work with him. Like, he went to Skechers to <laughs> try to sell his Yeezys off to, and they called security on him. Yeah, because Skechers is owned by, I think, Jews, I think. Skechers is a Jewish really? shoe company, to be honest, I think. It's weird, and they market straight to your kids. That's insane. You would think someone would want to, like, could you imagine if Michael Jordan was like, oh, I don't trust them Jews, and then, like, he gets dropped by uh, Nike, and then he starts selling your Jordans. Like, would he would he be escort, escorted or like? You think someone would take those? Oh yeah, like, everyone would be like, you oh, or something. But more realistically, for a basketball player, is like, oh, I don't like the Chinese government. And then you know, then they would He's get deplatformed from everything. Maybe. Like, did Michael Jordan? Was it him or was it Kobe or, or Shaq? LeBron, or... LeBron James. That's yeah, that, uh... same guy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> same guy. Okay, LeBron James. You're the only one who's actually playing basketball right now. Yeah, but LeBron James is one who's like, uh, he doesn't like what's going on in uh, China during the protests. And then, you know, COVID happened like two months afterwards. But, you know, that's a conspiracy theory. You know, I won't go down that rabbit hole. Mm-hmm. But um, it's uh, I'm starting to get into the surprise point. I'm, I'm starting to catch up everybody out, say, you know, it was, whoa, he said something against the Jews and he's getting kicked off everything. Like, I, I think uh, Kanye is a little loopy. He's a little crazy. He doesn't really understand, you know, maybe a little bit too much sugar. And but, like um, I said, I have to say this again. He didn't say anything bad about the Jews. He says he fears them. He fears the Jews. That's what And then they're like, oh, he Anti-Semitic. Yeah. You think that's scary? Look at this. Uh, so, you know, he's going through his own little 
uh, Auschwitz right now, of losing everything. He's the uh, Anne Frank of this, yeah. What is more I wild, I got another piece to add to that, is apparently Chani West is, uh, do you know he has like his own like little academy and basketball team? You know that? Did they take that away from him? <laughs> oh yeah, I, actually Scholastic fucking uh, removed him, dropped him entirely. Scholastic? What the fuck? Yeah, they, they dropped it because of his anti-Semitic uh, thing. So even, so even like you know, for like you know, underprivileged kids, they just want to play some basketball and shit. Nope, sorry, your boy said something bad about the guy who owns everything. No, oh, he, he just said he feared us. Sorry. You think? Uh, because I know him and Elon had like a thing for a while. You think they're still friends? Oh well, yeah, definitely. Sure. Oh, and you it's know what's like, fucking? You know what's crazy? They're both African. So remember when like all the all <laughs> the black, all the black people were losing their shit because Kanye said he supported like Trump, yeah, uh-huh. and all that, and then uh, nothing happened to him. But as soon as he said, "Hey man, I don't trust these Jews," he loses everything. That's insane. <laughs> I'm just, I'm I'm just like wild. It didn't happen back then. Like I'm just very with- like I mean I think it's funny that you know black community standing proud, but they immediately threw Kanye. I mean, you know, said he does some weird shit, but. I remember, well, back He's in the day, crazy. you know, a, a little man named Ice Cube? Yeah, yeah. an uh, unknown guy. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, well, he went through some trouble with the Jews just because he said one time in the song Jew. And he went through a whole scandal where they wanted him, like, off the air and everything. And, you know, people stood behind him or whatever. It's like, because, you know, if you kind of just let these people, you know, the Jews, these people. Yeah, these people. These fucking filth, yeah. Mm-hmm. If you let them, like, you know, do this, like, they're now giving them the, the inch, so now them all uh, thinking, like, you know, they're doing something by throwing Connie under the bus, it's like, no, you guys are just uh, now allowing this to happen now. It's it's really horrible, so, um... Like, even if you don't like the guy, it's like, dude, could you, like, could you just look <laughs> past that and just be like, you know, that's kind of dumb. He's getting fu- he's getting fucked. He's getting fucked by, like, I, oh, I mean, I've, I've expressed many times I don't care much about people who make millions. But he's clearly getting fucked by the system. Like, like, like I said, even if you don't care for the guy, you can't, some people just can't put the way put away the facts. Like, you yeah. can't be like, "Wow, that's really stupid." I don't like this guy, but that's dumb. It's insane that he can he can like Trump. He can do all these things, but as soon as he says like, "Hey, I don't trust the Jews," and he immediately loses everything, like you you already thought he would have been there already by just you know making an unpopular opinion, already being a brand risk. But he still had Yeezys, he still had the Scholastic thing, and it just took that to lose it all. Like it, it makes you really wonder, you know, who's really in control? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I, I'm getting there. I'm I'm actually getting surprised nowadays, losing everything. I know, that's it. I'm, I'm actually the same thing, too. I'm like, oh, damn, you know, he's really good. No, but I do there. love, like, I mean, Kanye might just be retired as, like, maybe a millionaire now. But I do love the fact that he's just doubling down hard and pissing off everybody, though. I respect that. I mean, I know it's at a risk of, you know, him losing all of his money, but, I mean, he seems to not give a fuck. He's like, you know what, fuck it. Well, I mean, he's manic. He's been facts. That's the thing. Like, I mean, at this point, what do you think... Like, okay, so you're seeing, like, this guy is violent against Jews, so us Jewish people stand together and do more shitty things to him. Uh, do you think that's going to make him happier? I, I think no, I'm, I, I'm, more, I'm more upset that people aren't upset. I think that's where I'm at. Yeah. Yes. No one's thinking, like, hey, this is crazy. They're just like, well, yeah, what he said was kind of weird, because, you know, more than 100 years ago, a lot of their people died, and, you know, you can't say anything bad about them, because they, all they did was... Yeah. All, all they all they did was steal land from. What if, what if Health Hitler man. foresaw this? He he was like, okay, they're getting a little too powerful. They're starting to control a lot of these things. Who you know? foresaw like, this? Hitler. Hitler. No, no, <laughs> no. We we determined last episode that Hitler was a Jewish plant. What? <laughs> yeah, you don't remember the things you say on this podcast. Either. Because think I about it, know. he sacrificed. He sacrificed six million so the Jews could become more powerful. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, he special summoned Exodia. No. Yeah, he special yeah. summoned. Okay. Like, you gotta throw a couple yeah. cars into the graveyard. He summoned like an ultimate beast. Yeah, we we need a mirror force right now to protect us from this thing. We need another. We need another one of those, but like for not the Jews though. For yeah. like. For like the Mexicans, for like Mexicans. yeah. <laughs> no, because like um, you can no no other person, no other like a uh, group of people. I mean, there aren't a group of people. They're not a race. They're they're more of a religion. But no one else has that much power. I mean, all these all these black people are getting killed by policemen, and you know these policemen aren't getting dropped by everything. You know that the cops didn't lose their title of um being police. 
but um you know you you you, you say like one thing about the jewish people and you, you lose your your shoe brand you lose this, you lose everything brand. you you oh, lose banking dude it's insane it's wild and how much of the population are they even they're like they're they're even smaller than any minority group and they have this much it's insane it's we should crazy. Gang up on them. world war <laughs> yeah. jew how about We're gonna, Okay, the last time someone started hanging up on the Jews that not in well. Yeah, so it didn't end well, yeah. I, would, I wouldn't say that, you know. That's that's like I kinda had like a drug problem though. Yeah, but I don't have a drug problem. I could lead. I could lead us. That's true. So we get the CIA and you know they do a drug problem on them, you know, they do a Mitt Romney to them and you know, maybe this will fix it, you know. Yeah. Ugh. I, yeah, I, 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 I just feel bad yeah. for you, kind of. Yeah, I really kid. like honey too, as I said last week. Don't yeah. don't use his slave name. Yeah, please don't. use use yeah. it. Use, 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 use his free name of Yee. Yeah. <laughs> forget, yeah, they kept calling him Yee. Is that a thing? Yeah, yeah that's his name. That's his name now. Yeah, it's not, not Kanye, Kanye he's anymore. He's not Kanye West, he's Yee. He's Yee. Yeah. Oh <laughs> they con the con out like of Kanye. Is that like the Z seven <laughs> thing where like you can't even say that they, they niggled hey. Kanye. Or they niggled Khan. So he's only ye now. You guys, um, I, I, cause I, I listen to a lot of things of like, uh, drama or like, uh, like drama uh, alert. Welcome to me. Yeah. To the news. No, no, I, don't, I don't want drama alert, but like when they talk, oh, no, she is actually a big fan of fucking loser. Uh, you loser. I, I, I watch sometimes. Yeah. You watch drama. That's hilarious. But, um, <laughs> it's not really that funny. He, he tells you, he keeps me up on the, the, the latest gossip. Oh, I, care. I just, I just listen to it to have something in the background. Why do you care? I don't care. He just tells me about the latest gossip. I'm like, okay. Oh, okay. That's what Ethan Klein did. Right. Like, oh, right. um, oh, yeah. Didn't Ethan Klein say, like, to Ben Shapiro? They're having a Jew off. Did you guys hear about that? Ooh. Ben Jew. Shapiro and Ethan Klein, like, they said, like, you know, if the Holocaust was around, I hope you would have died. It's like, oh, yeah, well, I hope you would have died in the oven, too, fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> I wish fucking Ben Shapiro said that. That'd be hilarious. He did say that. He said, he I did? wish there was an oven big enough for you to fit in back in the Holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. Uh, they're, gonna awesome. make, they're gonna make an oven for him and his poopa two different uh, Because uh Ethan Klein said some like she Italian Shapiro he hopes he died in the Holocaust and then you know. That's, That's awesome. Funny. That's insane. But um The Jews yeah, are fighting I, amongst themselves. We must rally we must rally and attack with their weak. My my point's <laughs> gone. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Attack them while they're weak. That's but save Abby, <laughs> save Abby, save Abby. <laughs> Maybe that's oh why God. Ethan hasn't been cancelled already. You know? He's Jew. Um, well, yeah, think about it. The dude's saying like the hard R and he says all kinds he's, of like wild shit. He's, and he's just like, unfunny. That's him. He, he still gets views. It's Cause, insane. Because he has all the, the, the white middle aged women watching him now. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. Because he, he did that. He did like a little podcast. The thing with Trisha Paytas. Yeah. Yeah, but they, 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 they already had a falling out. Yeah, but like, there's and still gonna be some like, you know, like, no, because she, she framed them as like a manipulator. So all the white. No, women but she's back on the show again. Like, she keeps quitting and leaving because like that. No, they, it's like a, it's official. That's that's a video I was watching. It's official. It's gone. I know. Okay, Sorry, now, now he like, has now he has Hassan he has a Hassan Piker on there now. Oh, there, boy, what a, the yeah. Now there? he has a retard like twenty year olds on there who are <laughs> scared of Sam Hyde. <laughs> the Nazi. What did you just say right now? Oh, he's such a waste of my time. Are you stupid? Why would I want to do anything with that racist? Not. Oh, hold on. Let me see your face. Turns the camera to him. Wait. <laughs> what are you talking about right now? The fucking Hassan like losing his shit to that one guy. I like how it's always labeled as Sam Hyde fan. And this is a guy like, hey, why don't you fight him? Yeah, it's not even like, oh, bro, you gotta fight him. It's like, hey, man, you ever gonna fight that one weird guy who called you out? You ever gonna fight Sam Hyde? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but at, at least people label it right, where they say Hassan Piker loses his shit. He's a weird oh little fucker. Where have we been on this tangent? I wanted to talk about something oh, like... We're talking about Kanye and you. I wanted to talk about something like, like 10 minutes off. ago, That's now we're talking insane. about fucking Hassan. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, well, first we were talking about Jews, and then you brought up yeah. about... I didn't bring up anything. I just okay, got talking about Ethan Klein, Klein, and then Michael was, was like, a, oh yeah, the Jew off. That's happening. That was Michael who brought up Ethan Klein. Okay, yeah, so... No, I brought. I, Let's I not backtrace anyway. our steps. Let's just keep yeah. going. Let's just move on to another article. This is lost, <laughs> dirty. Fuck you. Uh, and anyways, Ethan Klein sucks, and his podcast is it's it's better than ours. He fell off horse. And, nah. 
Do you think no. he, did he fall off worse than iDubs? Who? Ethan. Ethan? Yeah. No, no, some no, would say like, not uh, because he's making more money than Ethan. I don't think so. Uh, I really, I think Ethan, uh, I think uh, Ian's in a worse place. Well, which worse, a cuck or a? F- well, I mean, well, because think about right. it, Ian's not making money. His his uh, wife is. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and she's a true communist agenda. Your money, well, our money. <laughs> well, what's worse, being a cuck or being fat? Being a being a cuck, you're already fat. You probably don't understand what it is to be fat in the first place. You're like, okay, well, geez, would you would you rather be what you are now or a cuck and like our weight? Mm-hmm. Or I guess my weight, like I'm like one forty. Do, do you have abs? Uh, no, I just have a uh, gut. That's uh, like that's all my fat. No, is. I, I'm trying to just be fat. Well, I, I still have like pretty like. Uh, yeah, I look like abs. He just looks like okay. Imagine a Roger body. That's uh, what's a what's Roger. From uh, you know, American Dad, the alien. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that, that is kind of cool. bigger legs than that. That's like cheese legs right there. <laughs> <laughs> They're like a circle. They're like little mech robots. From my goodness. Uh, All right, cheese. I'll take us into a topic then. I go to more race statistics. Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> All right. Really a racist uh, episode. They, of this podcast. Mike, it's not, it's Mike, not racist. Mike editing, just cut this whole thing out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, come on. Let's talk about this. All right. Racial and ethnic differences in bystanders for CPR. Okay. Within a large uh, U.S. registry, we identified 110,000 witnesses of uh, out of hospital cardiac arrest. So someone had a fucking. Uh, Heart attack. A heart attack. They'd uh, they'd watch and see who would go save them. So overall, uh, there's thirty five thousand four hundred sixty nine witnessed out of hospital cardiac arrest at uh, for uh, the black and Hispanic persons, and uh, they were <laughs> they were less likely to receive uh, help. And then uh, for white people, it was more uh, fifty to over sixty sixty uh, percent to get help. Well, because you think about it, if you see like a like a brown person, like you're like, oh, that fucker is like just tripping balls, dude. He's like Odin or something. Yeah, he's doing a Floyd, but um. Uh, but there's okay. white crackheads. I don't know. Those well, they only live in the suburbs. Uh, the I mean, the, suburbs, uh, the urban areas. <laughs> but um, shut up. Uh, so I want to. I want a crock answer. You know, an honest answer. You know, no sarcasm. Um, Straight answer. What? Why do you think who, that is? Who would you like? Kind of like have a second thought about like trying to resuscitate if this happened. Like if you were in the survey, who would you be like? Eh, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Well, you got to describe them. All right. Know, so no like irony. Like, describe the person that you say no to. Well, um, fat. I would say a woman. <laughs> Wait, you say no to a woman having a heart attack? I would, no, I would kind of, like, I would be like, eh, like, can anyone else do this? Like, because I, if I, like, go, like, the plumper chest, you're like, oh, what the fuck are you doing? Like, well, fucking yeah, wrapping yeah. up her tit, and then, like, you're like, oh, I gotta do mouth to mouth. Uh, like, <laughs> you just look like you're molesting her the whole time. I'd feel uneasy. Oh, well, I mean, okay, it's so, hard. if it comes down to CPR... Like they're saying, like, like who would But if you're, if you're fucking, like, trying to, like, start her heartbeat again, like, you're just pumping up on her tit the whole time. And also, you got a mouth to mouth, too. Yeah, know. exactly. Like, it, it, and then she just, like, Oh, okay, so you're telling me if some, like, old black dude's dying, you're going to mouth to mouth them? I, no, I'd just give him a little chest pump. So I'd feel better about just chest pumping him the whole time. And I'd be like, is any willing white woman in the audience? Any no, white because woman with as a soon child? as you start pumping, I'll be like, that man has his knee on his neck. He's killing him. He's killing him. My, my arms are just like, my knees are clearly sprawled out. So <laughs> like, choking him. I'm up on the leg. Like, call, call the police. Wait, don't call the police. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> when they call the police, they just get up on him. <laughs> He's on bed. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh. Okay, so you're more. Like they can't tell who's beating the shit out of them because, like, most races, they can't tell each other apart. Yeah, yeah but so, I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm not like locking lips with no like old dude. Okay, well, like, so well, like an old granny would like an old man or an old woman. Which one would you prefer, Mike? What would you say? Well, obviously, an old woman. Really? Why? Because I'd I mean, say, like I'd someone's say. grandma, at least you know. Yeah, but then you'd feel like you're like, yeah, like oh, if you're right. trying to like chest bump her. They're, they're way closer to death, care. anyways. Might as well just speed up the process. I don't know. I, like I feel more, guy, I feel like, more comfortable like around a guy, like you know, just feeling up on their chest because there's nothing there. Hmm. I don't know. Titties are kind of cool. 
Yeah, but see, look, that's child. That's not child molester. Oh, that's, whoa, 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 whoa. That's, 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 that's molester. That's molester. Okay, okay. Let, let's, let's, we got to narrow it down like this. Okay, okay. we got to first start with old person. Like, have a tier what, list. race of old people. Like, yeah, a tier list of like old people races. Old people. Uh, so let's uh, start with an old white man. What I would do? say no. Uh, oh, uh, old white man, maybe. Yeah, I'd do an old white man. Not an old like, white woman, though. Clip that. Oh, dude, you, do you, 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 would, you, would, you, you would break their fucking ribs, though, if you're trying to resuscitate them. You'd have to do mouth to mouth. No, it's... You would break their fucking body. Yeah, yeah no, that's like, fine. If you tried chest pumping them, I, they would, they I would took die. It. I, I was in uh, sports medicine. You, sometimes you have oh, to break ribs. Okay, okay. So you're, you're in a fucking pointless... Either you break their ribs or they die. It's... You gotta do what you gotta do. That's what they so do. is that a save? I, I to think I think old people are immediately mouth to mouth. I don't think you can chest pump them. Is he gonna give me like hundred dollars after? No, oh, he would so. die. Then you. Okay, then you, then so you'd this have is how I see suicide. it. You have man. You help an old man. He might be a rich guy, and he might give you money for. Oh, if he's a rich guy, he would sue you for fucking fucking up his chest because you chest pumped him. No, no, be like no. That's what I think. How many fucking, like, dude, like, I think you're overestimating your frail. strength. Dude, they fall and they fucking break their legs. <laughs> okay, yeah, but dude, you're not, like, caving in his legs. fucking chest, not punching his ribs. <laughs> How hard are you? You have to resuscitate his heart. You, you have to go your, through so much muscle. You have to fucking beat the shit out of their fucking chest to get him out. Like, fuck, you're like, you, like, you make it sound like you're, like, curb stomping his, like, good heart. What are you talking about? That's what you do, because you have to use the heart. This is a trick question. Okay, then why don't they use their feet then, or like jump on their fucking chest if like that's what you? Oh my feet. god! Because their feet question. would break their bones. This no shit, Andy. That's why you use your hand. This is a trick you would, question. You're old, old though. You, you break the bones anyways. People, some old white people have a uh, do not resuscitate on their fucking body somewhere. So you'd have to. Yeah, that's true. What if their what if their heart what if their organ donors? Yeah. Okay. That's you know, so the worst part about the old people thing is you know like the do not resuscitate is not like on your ID, right? It, uh, yeah. It's not. No, sometimes they get it tattooed on them. So you gotta, you gotta, so, so you're okay. Like, so there's like an old like woman like, <gasps> and like you're just like ripping your clothes off, and then you know you're just like searching through her wallet and stuff. Okay, like, hmm, take off your panties. Take off your so, panties. I, I, it's a, you know. If it's never, hypothetical, but... hypothetical. You're 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 young, crispy critter. You know, you're like, oh man, you know, I want to do a good thing. You know, this white woman's good in that. You're like, you know what, dude? If if you're so a you black dude, do wallet. not necessitate anybody. Do not do this because you gotta, you gotta, you gotta rip their wallet. clothes off and then look through their wallet. It's not gonna look good, no matter what. <laughs> you gotta look through her wallet. I'm trying to look for the tattoo. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to necessitate her, please. <laughs> I'm trying to look for the dad to necessitate. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Call the cop. Why are you taking out her wallet? Is it on the ID, please? No. Well, I mean, you gotta take off the watches and like the necklaces for the for the defibrillator. So, like, you know, you're moving and, like and all you, her jewelry and, off of her. Then you then you have a slightly in shape forty year old guy or a tall man like tackling you. This is citizens arrest. Like, you're just trying to do the right thing. And, yeah. <laughs> who was surveyed? If they were if they were all black people that said no, I understand. <laughs> I, I, I well, yeah, because. This is why the minorities say because, dude, we look like we're involved in yeah, it. Yeah, they look like they're trying to. I'm trying to see if I resuscitate this person or like their organ donors. You guys are just gonna call the cops on me. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna say this for any kind of colored person, like Mexican, black. Yeah, you're to revive your own kind because I don't think they would care that much. <laughs> yeah, no, or another minority because they're like, what do you? What's in there? No, because like, then it's like, oh, well, that that Mexican guy's totally robbing that black guy. He doesn't that, like him. With the wallet with a hole on it. Yeah, he's probably just looking for the ID to see. Mm. Ah, it's just like if you're if you're white and just like looking through anyone else's wallet. It, 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 another thing, I, I feel like it's less likely it's that old uh, old black or uh, old black person or old uh, Mexican person is gonna have do not resuscitate. But I just think as I just I think, think as, as a man, time. I feel very uncomfortable. Just like you know, manhandling a woman, I don't know at all. But you, like you're true. ready to grow up a guy, like no problem. Well, I'm not. Right, I'm not build up his ball right? sack. I'm just pumping his chest. I'm not going well, to. he has to gonna... stay under his balls? <laughs> his wallet. Yeah, under check. his balls. Yeah. Under his balls. Yeah. He has Anyone right here like... a prison trader who is very good at you know grabbing shit out? You know, I would ask them. Yeah, because yeah. haven't there been cases where people have sued people for resuscitating them? Yeah, I believe so. Women. Yeah, but it's like. I, like I said, like I, there has to be like get to like wear a necklace or something. I don't know, or like a tag, like a little, little lanyard wrist or something. A little, a little Comic Con twenty twenty lanyard. Yeah, because I mean, you see someone dying, you're like, oh fuck. Oh, this one. Yeah, but you look lame. Lanyards only, only, 
Get lanyards only look decent when you're at work. Well, you know what? Otherwise, you probably want like to die if you have a fucking lanyard on anyway. Yeah. So, a so. Disney lanyard. But if you wear a lanyard, your defense basically do not resuscitate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you see a lanyard dying, just don't. Just don't go up to him. Just, uh, a Disneyland 20. You have to have a child. <laughs> That's what they meant by that. Okay, so now we got to step down. Okay, yeah. a normal adult. A normal adult? Uh, what do you mean by normal? A 30, like a 30, 20 year old. 25. What, what, what race are we talking? Okay, let's get race out of the picture. because Yeah, let's get race. Yeah. Right, yeah. Let's get race oh, out. The important part. Yeah. Okay, then, yeah, because we'll be here all day. All right. Uh, like a 20, 30 year old. That's not race. Okay. <laughs> What's the race? Come on. 20, 30 year old black. No, we're not doing race. We're woman or man? Oh, man. Yeah. Cause if you're white, you know you're s- no. Actually, no. Mike, is it a woman or a man? Okay, so man first. Okay, what thirty? Yeah, like, me. Like, like say, have, I, I like, I like a, someone my age, like just falls over. Man, like you die. What the fuck? Oh, my! I'd be like, oh, don't worry, guys. This is normal. This happens all the time. It's his hernia. He's fine. He's herniating right now. <laughs> <laughs> you watch yeah. Nature's Paradise again. <laughs> Move aside, walk along, like try to. No, okay, so like a, a, a old man just like falls over. Okay, um, yeah, I'd probably just be like, I'd give him like chest pumps. Uh, wait, are they like choking? Or are they like what? What's what's wrong with them? Well, the hard you know, they usually CPR, just, uh, like, so like collapse. Yeah, so you have to mouth to mouth them or just pump, okay, you know, break you his ribs. You don't, you don't do you like the hip thing, like because okay, the Heimlich maneuver. You're not fucking yeah. choking. Yeah, yeah Heimlich. Okay, dude. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I just I just think same thing. TPR stands for like uh, cardio, like something. Cardio uh, failure pH uh, resistance. Right. Yeah, yeah, failure with a P. Uh, yeah, something yeah. like that. Uh, yeah, I'd do it. Yeah. I I feel like I feel comfortable as long as they're not like near my age or like very old. I feel very comfortable. Really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, Sam, cheese. How about you? No. Why not? Do you know something? We're looking for croc answers here. Real, unironic answers. Yeah, no. Why would I get involved? Fuck that. It's not not my problem. I I mean, I think I'd revive some dude, like, if he was, like, in his 20s or 30s. Dude, I I can Uh, stroke my cock after, like, revive. Because the old guy's gonna die anyways. Yeah, no, like, like, to be like, oh my god, you're a hero. Like, like, what if... What if he had like a hot babe for a wife, and then now she's like going in the morning? She's like, oh, I don't have she's, a she's, she's, not gonna be like, she's not going to be like, oh, that little midget who didn't revive my husband. Oh, he's so hot. Oh, no, I, oh. I go to ten revive. I, I do like, oh no, and I, I'm actually like, strangling. Revive. No, yeah, I'm actually, like, like, strangling him. Kill them. You can revive. You have to revive him and then wait for him to fuck up. I was, your I, I'd be like, no, ma'am. I'm. I. I was squeezing his throat to let the air go in there more. Oh, you, you uh, suck. I, I want. I want croc answers, Mike. What no, about you? Honestly, no. Yeah, I, I would. This is like twenty-three-year-old guy. Yeah. Yeah, but would you feel uncomfortable with like someone? Oh, I guess thirty-two is your old. Oh, what about someone me or, or cheese, cheese's age? What's someone yeah, cheese's like, age? You know? Yeah, because like you're 20, a young lad. Like you know, twenty nineteen. Would you feel comfortable doing it like mouth to mouth to a woman? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, duh. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and then, like, your girlfriend's there. She's like, sorry, I'm baby. Her. I'm Why trying to save her. her titties? No, no. It's part of the process. I'm blowing airway to her through her tits. You don't understand. Undo, undo her belt buckle. Flowing. I don't know. Oh, maybe I need another hole that can, I can free up. <laughs> her holes need to breathe. Her holes need to breathe. Oh, all three of them. Why are you? Why are you just like motorboating yourself? I'm just trying to clear the chest ways, bitch. Get off my case. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so this is for men. So for women, obviously, everyone. Or men. Yeah. No, I'm doing both. No, I don't, no, what, no what, woman. If man or woman? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm doing both for the 20, 30 year old. That's fine. Yeah, I, I do only women. Very, I feel very uncomfortable when it's like, ah. Uh, God, you're such a well, gay. You, don't, you never touched a woman before. It's, it's like it's like the Diary Wimpy Kid thing where you had to wrestle that girl. It's like, where do I grab her? You're just going to come on her face and leave. Revert <laughs> 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 back to caveman. <laughs> Yeah, for women, I, I do. All right, so then now we get into, all right, uh, like a 14-year-old. I'm mm. I'm just doing chest bumps, and I'm just like, is there a doctor? Is there a doctor? There's a then, doctor, like, man. I, I, like, try to find, like, the parent. Maybe, maybe you guys are the one comfortable to do this, like. Because it, it has to be the chest bumps, dude. Like, that's it. Yeah. But even then, it's going to be, like, one-handed, like, while well, I'm, like, looking, like, hello, anyone around? 
down. I don't know what I'm doing. Call the, call the ambulance. Is there a doctor? You should try mouth to mouth. No! <laughs> oh, it's okay. the only way. You gotta do it. No! <laughs> I, I would just I would just is. tell some other kid. No, because that seems creepy. Like, if you tell, like, another kid, like, hey, you mouth to mouth him. Like, don't mouth to mouth this kid right here. <laughs> like, you tell, because like, it seems weird. Like, if you don't want to do the mouth to mouth, you're like, hey, kid, could you mouth to mouth, like, the, your fellow student while I take pictures? <laughs> 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 yeah, the picture for you. Like, you, you really? uh, I, I don't know, like... <laughs> that, that's a rough one. I don't know. I think. Turn it off! Maybe. Alexa, turn the alarm off. God damn it. Ah, fuck. It's coming yeah, through. Yeah. No, fuck. God damn it. Anyways. Speaking but, alright. So then we get to the hard hitting questions. An eight year old. Eight year old? Well, you gotta think from these perspectives. They have their whole life ahead of it. What do if you I, mean? If I chest pump nah, them, much if I chest pump them, I'm crushing the rib cage, and if I mouth to mouth them, Chris Hansen's gonna <laughs> come gone. out. He's gonna be like, "Oh, I see what you're doing here." No, you don't. You, for a baby, what the fuck is wrong with you? You don't use eight your year olds are not babies. No, he said eight year old. Right, yeah, that, that's the, no. You don't use fucking your both your hands. You use your fucking like uh, your two. Your two, uh, your index, your index, and your fucking middle finger. That's how you got it for little babies. Your you index. Got... He's your not a baby. Finger. He's a fucking eight year old. Same shit. Same shit. Dude, what the? F that's not gonna do shit. I think you need like, like I said, maybe one hand. Are you dumb? Most. My index one and my middle. You don't one hand. Like, what the fuck's wrong with I'm you guys? I'm looking at this right now. My index and my uh, middle, my, my my thumb. Is that what you said? Or my index and my middle. Your finger? index and your your index and your middle finger and your thumb. Yeah, yeah that's your, for babies. That's for yeah, basically same thing. He said know? eight. Dude, you're not gonna resuscitate an eight year old with three fucking fingers, you retard! I'm that, I'm that strong. I just imagine she's gonna do like a one headed push up on a kid's chest. Just go, whoa! Oh, she's gonna go immediately to, oh, I have to go mouth to mouth! <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think you can chest pump her. I mean, I, I think she's fine. No, 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 I got, I gotta do this, I'm sorry. I don't know, like, the kid might die. I might just leave the kid, to be honest. <laughs> Jesus. It has like, a life, like, dude! But, like, you make another one. You're not that old. It's eight years already. Eight years wasted. Dude, that's now you gotta go retry. Dude, you can have a dog for eight years, dude. <laughs> that is true. They have not outlived the pet yet. I mean, you, you, you're you okay with your pets dying. Like, you you probably, like, get over that kid. You know, yeah, make another one. You know, yeah. I, think. I think, like, once you once you reach, like, the, the 15 to 20 year, you're just like, oh, yeah, I remember this one. I remember that one. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, can you remember like any pets you had die on you? Like, I can barely remember any. Oh, like really? one and a half. Well, I mean, one got ran over, and then like its back was broken, and we just you had a we, we we didn't uh, uh you know we couldn't pay for it because you know that's like ridiculous, and we just took it to shelter. Like, yeah, we found this dog. Horrible. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck are we gonna do? You disowned your dog? Yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, fuck this dog. <laughs> Yeah, but I was, yeah, yeah. So I was really sad about it. It looks like that. it had a collar. I mean, it looks like this this neck area hasn't been shaved yet. No, no, we just fucking found this thing. It, it's fucking dead or something. Anyways, yeah, because apparently, like, some like crackhead just fucking like uh, undid my my dog, like let my dog out. Oh, I think my dog ran away, my first one, and then mm -hmm. I had like uh, two. A uh, turtle ran away, and the other one died. Fuck the turtle run away. <laughs> I, I, I think I've talked about this before. <laughs> my I left my turtle with my 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 brother and my dad outside because we. Are they both that fucking out. slow and retarded. His little and, turtle away. And the turtle was gone. They're like, oh yeah, it's just in the leaves, and then it was gone. It wasn't in the leaves. He probably digged down. And then they're like, oh, I guess the turtle's gone. It was in the backyard. I don't know. You fucking lose a turtle. It's right there. It's a turtle. I left it there for like an hour. I was like, hey, he's camouflaged, dude. Gotta, he got to clean this. And it's there, and then it's gone. I don't know how that happens. And you're like, ha ha ha! Oh my god, your turtle memory, your turtle ran away. I'm like, it left from you guys. It didn't leave for me. I was in my room the whole time. I trusted both of you to fucking watch this fucking turtle. <laughs> it's a turtle. It's a turtle. Why are you so upset? It's just a turtle. A, no, you need another I, one. I had like two turtles, and I named them all the same name because I really wanted a man turtle, and I kept getting female fucking turtles. So what'd you name? Him? Did you give like a hot name? Well, like, I, I originally I named like, turtle I wanted man. to name the turtle Jack. But they kept become a woman, so I just put an I E at the end. Jackie, and, uh, and, <laughs> they're all Jackie. Yeah, so oh, that's such Jackie a you had one, slutty Jackie turtles. Both dead, apparently. All right, slutty turtles, dude.
Oh, dude, turtles are fucking disgusting, dude. Turtles are fucking cool, dude. I remember, dude, um, remember we used to put like fish in the right? tank, and then uh, we had those really small goldfish. And my sister's like, "Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I'm gonna name it Nemo." It, not my little sister, but like my my sister's like near my age, and she's like, "Oh, I'm gonna name it Nemo," and it fucking got eaten like the second it went into that fucking <laughs> turtle tank. And we were brothers man, at that point. I love that. I love that fucking turtle. <laughs> if I can eat the shit out of that fucking fish, but yeah. Typical woman turtle. I would not resuscitate thing. a dog or a turtle. That's what we're talking about, right? No, but <laughs> yeah, no. The kid, the kid's dying more than likely. Mm-hmm. I, I don't feel. I don't think that it. kid ate a fish, so it's not even as cool as that. It probably just sat around and cried. Most I, I could eat like boogers. a. I could eat boogers. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of cool. I don't know. They do a little jig. Probably not. <laughs> a little jig. Mean, you could tell them like, hey, do that thing. It's kind of cool. It's dying. Do do the floss. Do the floss from Fortnite. You know, like, well, do how it. do I know if he's having a heart attack or not doing, like, an emote? That is true. <laughs> that is true, yeah. Like, they, what if he's emoting and, like, you just, like, you know, try to resuscitate him and you're like, he's like, right, right. That's why I don't want to be, that's why I don't want to resuscitate a woman. I'm scared of that. Don't touch my cock, mister. Stop it. Okay, I don't think women have penises. I think I'm safe for now. Hopefully not. Uh. <laughs> well, you don't know. Hey, it's lady dick for a reason. That doesn't exist. Yeah, but me as a brown person, I'll tell you this right now, I ain't resisted Oh, uh, okay. Nobody. And give me a trail of tears. That's what you said. Eh? That's what you said eh? like, I, like I tell you, like, I have just no fucking way I'm doing We're, that. What are you even going to say? To what? To me? I, I, to a Native American man coming up to you. Like, what, well, what I mean, I, I'm really of? brown, though. They're like, brown! I see brown! Yeah, but you're Native. They're not going to be terrified. They're going to be like, oh, you're so unique! Oh, my goodness! Yeah, but I don't really... I, like, my hair says, like, wet back, though. Yeah, because you're half, idiot. Yeah, so they're going to think, like, oh my god, it's like some weird goblin. Let's go. Yeah, but you probably have that native nose, so they, they probably know better. Dude, I can give some mean-ass CPR on my fucking big-ass hands. Dude, you'd kill anybody. You'd hey, kill a hand. child. Dude, no one CPR you on nobody. I just forgot I could resuscitate this. a fucking rhino, dude. Yeah, yeah you, you, can, have you can resuscitate an elephant, but any human you're killing. <laughs> yeah, so. uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Jeez, if if I if I fucking knock out, can near any of you guys? Can you be the one to resuscitate me, please? I don't want to die. I can, like, <laughs> I don't I can just like I'm fucking crushing your fucking sternum, Sam. I'll like, just get Croc to do it. Hopefully, he's in the air. <laughs> he's fat. I hope he just puts his body weight on me, like. <laughs> yes, fat. That means he has I'm like. Only really hope, Actually, that's not true because hey. you know what? He has like little like kid hands. He has yes, he, girl exactly. Hands. He'd be able to resuscitate me perfectly. I don't it's understand funny. that. He has like the girliest hands I've ever seen. He's got the. It's got like a little stick figure body going on. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, you like Croc here. Yeah, we like Croc. Uh, I'm like my. Uh, whatever the fuck we're talking about, we went off topic again. Yeah, yeah I think we should wrap up this episode, you know. We're going to wrap it up already? Yeah. She's ruining this episode. I didn't ruin shit. I didn't no, know. I, brought up, I brought up race statistics. I brought up how you shouldn't trust those dirty yellows. I we brought didn't up. Talk about that. Don't even make it cut out. Cut, cut out what you, you just guys said. You guys brought it off topic. I had a lot more to go on to. Well, I'm not going to no, bring it up now. Sure did. I did. I did. We want to do another article then? No, no, no. Okay, okay I guess not. Uh, I'll just, I'll just be like Mike. You can't. Me. You can't. Okay, look. The 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 listeners gonna, have we're cutting out a lot. Spoiled. The listeners not have been really. spoiled. They, get, they, like got, an hour. they got a two hour episode with Jerry Berry. They got that was croc. two weeks ago. They got croc. No, they have like an, they're gonna have like an hour and a, like forty with the newest episode, or the one, bef- one before. See, hour and forty. See, they're talking they're getting, about they're... the episode, so all this gets cut out. See, yeah, they're exactly. getting they're getting spoiled. See, now you're wasting time. Yeah. Yeah. I am yeah. wasting time. All right, let's cut. Let's all right, end well, this. if you want to end it, we'll end it. All right. So, <clears throat> now, who wants to take us out? You, because you're the you're, you're the take the, route. You're the ender usually. All right. Well, uh, all right. We'll start right now. Thank you for tuning in on this weekly episode, hopefully, of the X Chromosome Podcast. I've been your host, Sam the Man, along with uh, Mike, that guy, and she's the YouTuber. Thank you, and see you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.